In this video, we will learn how to get started with MicroPython. I will walk you through in setting up your MicroPython environment and we will also prepare the development board of your choice to work with MicroPython. For this tutorial, I will be using an ESP32 development board from Expressif. But this tutorial will be compatible and would work with other MicroPython compatible board with some minor adjustments, especially with pin assignments. Maybe sometimes I will be also using this one. This one is Heltec Wi-Fi kit, which is also with ESP32 on board. Now we are here in my desktop. I will be opening my Google Chrome. So in preparation, number one, download Tony Python IDE from Tony.org. And since I am using Windows, I will be downloading the Windows version. And it's also compatible with Linux, Mac, and Windows. So hit download and save it to and save it to the folder of your choice. I will be saving it in the desktop for easy reference. So here. This is one of the best, beautiful, and beginner-friendly IDE available. We will also use Tony Python to erase and flash new firmware to ESP32 with the help of ESP tool plugin. Number two, download the MicroPython firmware from micropython.org. Micropython.org. Go to download section. And at the bottom, there is uh, by the way, these are the boards compatible with MicroPython. This is PyBoard, STM32, and this one, uh, WiPy with Y, and ExpressIP boards, which are ESP8266, ESP32, and TinyPico. TinyPico is also ESP32, by the way. So, download the generic ESP32 module and scroll down, look for ESP32, yeah, download the latest stable version. So, for the stable, these are the stable versions or this one, 1 1.13, it's newly released last uh, September 2 so I will download this one and save it to the folder of your choice and I will choose again the folder I created in the desktop with MicroPython number 3 download the ESP32 USB driver from Silicon Labs website. Google Silicon Labs. Yeah. This one. And this one. It's under the scilabs.com and download this software. I am using Windows 10, so I will download this one. And save it again to the folder of your choice. I will save it again in the desktop, MicroPython folder. Start download. Okay. Number four. And for later references, download the pin assignments or pin, pin outs or a schematic diagram of your development board. You will be needing it later on to know, let's say, the pin assignment 
of the onboard LED. So I have here a copy of the pin assignments for this uh, ESP32 development board. So I will post the link of this for you to download. I also have the schematic diagram, but this one is not exactly for this like uh, development board because I think this one has 36 pins while this one has a total of 30 pins only. This is uh, this is Do It ESP32 Dev Kit version one with 30 pins. Number five. Now that we have all the necessary files, let's install the Tony Python IDE. So let's install the Tony Python in desktop MicroPython folder. Tony Python IDE. Next. Accept. Just run it. Maybe create desktop shortcut or easy references and install. Tony Python is beginner friendly IDE because it is simple to use and all the necessary tools is included such as Ripple Terminal, Python Editor, File Access to MicroPython File System, and even flashing the MicroPython firmware. And these are all available in graphical user interface. No daunting command lines. All is click here and there in one simple IDE. Of course, there are more feature-rich applications available we can look at, such as BS Code. But as of this moment, let's just use Tony Python for simplicity. So I will click finish. Number six, install the ESP32 USB driver. So I will extract this one using a 7-zip. Extract to same folder. And look for x64 because I am using 64-bit uh, windows and just click yes then next and finish let's verify if the installation of the USB driver is successful by connecting the ESP32 to our computer then right click the start Start button and look for device manager. Under the device manager, click for the ports. And if you are successful installing the USB driver, you should see the Silicon Lab CP210X USB to UART bridge with COM number. And as for me, this is COM4. Take note of this because we will need this one later on. Before we can begin using the ESP32 for MicroPython development and programming, we need to erase the original firmware and then flash a new firmware with MicroPython interpreter installed. So let's open the Tony Python. I already have the MicroPython inside. So that's why I am having this whole prompt of the MicroPython. But for the sake of tutorial, I will show you how to flash the ESP32 with new firmware. To do that, click the Tools menu in the Tony Python, Manage Plugins, and in the search box, type ESP Tool, and hit Enter. Click Install, and give it some time, downloading then installing okay done when you see the uninstall button here I will just click close now we are ready to flash a new firmware to our ESP32 to do that click again the tools menu then select options and click the interpreter tabs then here which interpreter or device should Tony use for running your code? I will select ESP32. 
it could be circuit python from adapt or micro python by using the bbc micro bit or micro python esp32 et266 or micro python generic this one is using pyboard so let's select the micro python esp32 and in the ports select the correct com port which is com port then click open the dialog for installing or upgrading MicroPython on your device. I will click this one. And in the port, select again the COM port. And in the firmware, select Browse. And go to the folder you choose before. I choose the one, the, the MicroPython folder in the desktop. Then I will select the bin file, which is the firmware with MicroPython interpreter installed. So I will open. Then make sure that the erase flash before installing is tick or check. Should be check. Then click install. Give it some time until this one is successful. Okay. Erasing is complete. Now writing. Now it's flashing uh, a new firmware to the ESP32. Click OK. Click Close. And click OK. Now the MicroPython is successfully installed to the ESP32 development board. Now we can check this one. We can test some code. Let's make the onboard LED lights on and lights off. Making some codes. Import machine. And let's create a variable LED. And set it to the pin. Pin 2. The onboard LED. And... And let's set the pin direction to output. And to turn on the LED, we just need to send LED that on. As you can see, the LED on board is turned on. To turn it off, just send LED that off. Like that. Or LED that value equals 1 or LED that value equals 0 to turn it off or LED that value to true or LED that value to false very easy right and you can make it without compiling and the moment you send the the code like this one led that value to true the moment i press this one the onboard led will turn on see it's very fast you may ask how about to blink the onboard led just like the blink example of the arduino to do that we need to import a time for delay import time okay now while true so to turn it on led that on we need to wait some time or delay some time so that is uh, time that is time that sleep let's say for 500 milliseconds 0.5 LED that off and time that is sleep to 0 0.5 so when I hit enter twice it will execute the code 1 2 and as you can see the LED the onboard LED is now blinking
just like the Blink example of the Arduino IDE. That's all for now. In the next video, we will learn what is MicroPython and how it works. For any question or suggestion regarding this tutorial, please feel free to write it in the comment section and I will be happy to answer it. You may also be interested to check out the companion blog post of this tutorial for additional information at techtotinker.blogspot.com And if you enjoyed this video, give me thumbs up and share this to your friends. And subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you and have a good day ahead. See you on the next video. Bye!